It is Vlogmas Day 19, and I am Shayna of The Wealth Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. For Vlogmas, I am taking you throughout my day-to-day -day life so you can get a peek inside. So let's go. It is the afternoon, so it's a late start to the day, but I am about to head to um, Aventura Mall because I need to return something at the Apple store, and then I also need to go Christmas gift shopping. Yes, I need to go Christmas gift shopping. I'm going to buy a few little things. I'm not going to spend a lot of money, um, but that's the plan for today, and I'm leaving super late, and I'm probably going to get caught in the uh, school zones because there are tons of school zones between here and Aventura Mall <laughs> as a matter of fact so the funny thing though about Florida is I feel like the school zones are super like strict here compared to the other places that I've lived in because yeah I feel like most people be speeding through the speed zones everywhere else that I've lived but people you know really do adhere to them they're 15 miles per hour here and they're about a good four of them between here and Avatar Mall. So, um, we're about to go. I am finally here at the mall. It took about an hour to get here due to traffic and also those school zones. So I picked a horrible time to get here. And it also seems like a lot of people are getting off from work early today due to the holiday. And so um, that just added to the amount of traffic. And I'm just over this already. <laughs> I'm over it. I hate shopping. I hate it with a passion. But um, I'm here to return something at the Apple store. And I had the option to mail it in as a return. But I was like, you know what? Let's get out the house. Let's get a little variety of content for Vlogmas. Go to the mall, Shayna. Go to the mall. And I'm already over it. <laughs> but I'm about to get out this car right now and make a return to Apple. I was thinking I might want a window shop, but after all this, I'm not, I'm not interested in window shopping. <laughs> I am not interested in window shopping, but let's see how it is when I get in there. They apparently redid the mall and moved Apple where the food court was and they did a whole bunch of changes and moved a bunch of, a bunch of things around and it looks really nice in here so now I want to walk around a little bit I'm not as annoyed as I was before let's see I used to work at this Urban Outfitters. I worked here one winter during winter break from college and I just got a transfer here so that I can make money during the winter and I went back to my location in Georgetown, DC. I walked around the mall and it's very nice. I like the changes that they made, but I am about to head out on the phone with my sister, telling her I wish she was here. But um, I'm about to head to the car and then go to Target so that I can actually um, do some Christmas shopping that I know um, of things that I need to get from there. So I'll see you at Target. So I'm here stuck in traffic trying to barely leave the, the mall, barely left it. I only got three miles worth of gas still left because my brother is the one that mainly drives this car and he never puts gas in it. My mom is always complaining. So I gotta like 
tried to get to the gas station there was only one gas station so far that came across but couldn't get to it because like i was all the way over here from like merging and then the gas station was like way over there so now i'm trying to get to this other gas station it's about a mile away but my mom just called me and told me that my brother took my dad to urgent care and hopefully he just has the flu and nothing like more severe but the flu is severe itself but this flu is also contagious and i don't have time to be sick so i'm going to be going to target to also pick up a bunch of lysol because i don't have time and i didn't take i didn't get the flu shot this year i usually get it every year but i didn't get it this year and i just don't have time i don't have time <laughs> I have been having the worst luck over the past two days with my money. I went and bought something earlier to get something to eat and use my debit card. Now I cannot find my debit card. So I don't know where it is, but I searched all over the car and I cannot find my card. So now I have to request a new card, but this is why having multiple bank accounts is important. Um, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get gas <laughs> if I didn't have multiple bank accounts. So I was easily able to just zell the money from my Capital One account over to my Bank of America account so that way I could get gas. And so now I only have my Bank of America account that I can use. I'm not even sure where I want to mail the card to. Um, the address that was shown on the screen, I no longer live there, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. I don't know if I want to have it sent here or if I need it to be sent to Columbus. I don't know. But it's just so frustrating. I was in the airport and my car was getting declined over and over and over. They put some type of restriction on my account, called them, it got lifted. But then I didn't know the pin for my debit card because I hadn't used it for so long. And so then I continued to get declined notices. <laughs> It was so embarrassing, but it was like embarrassing, but like not embarrassing because like I knew I had money in my account. I felt like the people at the counter were more embarrassed than I was because uh, I know I had money to buy some pancakes for $5 um, at the airport, but it was just frustrating. <laughs> um, and then now a few days, two days later to have my debit card now go missing the one that i finally figured out the pin for is gone missing and now i gotta re um replace that card now but i finally have gas and i'm about to head to target and get a bunch of lysol because my mom is wondering if my dad has the flu and i just don't like i said i don't have time so i'm about to get some lysol she's talking about she got half a can lady we need to be defended against the flu and half a can ain't gonna work so i'm about to go buy a couple cans of last time and also find mike's gift Mwah. bye i'm vlogging babe I This is my sister's Christmas list. I don't know who she think. <laughs> she is wow. <laughs> Pay for graduate school applications. Pay for Sheree to go to Jamaica in the summer. Facial, a new apartment, $10,000. So I am in Target to look for Christmas gifts. So, I'm going to buy a few Christmas gifts. I'm not going to buy a lot because um, I don't have the budget for it. I like a huge budget. Um, so, I'm going to find a few items for everyone in my family and Mike. I have to get Mike something because he bought me that expensive behind hair dryer that I really wanted. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, I'll insert the clip here so that you can see um, what he got me. Well, they were like the first one, but mum always gets me one too. She will be the glittery tea Um, come on. I'm, I'm on, I'm on. No, you're not. Right, next we have the bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I think that's 
Christmas. Wait, the monster is coming. It's like, <laughs> of course. Really? Of course. In December, it's actually our anniversary. So in two more days, or yeah, in two more days, it'll be our um, two year anniversary. So that's one thing that we typically give gifts for. And then we also have Christmas as well. So I'm gonna try and get him a combined gift. Actually, I'm not gonna get him a combined gift. I'm gonna get him one anniversary gift, a small gift, and then another small gift for Christmas. But he's gonna get everything when I come back from um, from this trip in Miami. I'm gonna walk around Target and see what I can get everyone from Target. I was able to buy gifts for my mom, my sister, and Mike at Target. And I think I did pretty well. I don't know how much I spent in total. I need to add that up. But it's probably like around $100. And so I spent um, that money buying gifts for three people and actually two gifts for Mike. So it's kind of more like four gifts. But I split up the order into two using the red card so with the red card you get like five percent cash back and then you also um get other perks but i got the five percent cash back on my order on my purchases today and i also um i also had a five dollar off gift card because i used one of those promotions where you buy like three things or four things and you get a five dollar gift card and i also purchased something on the app because they were giving away, um, or they were giving 20% off purchases online for that item. So based off of my in-store purchases, the app is telling me that I saved $13 on one purchase and then another $8 on another purchase. And I think I saved um, about $12 on the online purchase. So I saved, let me do quick math. That's about uh, 26 plus 8 equals 32. So I saved about $32 by buying gifts for three people, but a total of four gifts at Target today. Pretty good. So I'm really happy about that. I'm about to get dressed to go to the gym with my, my brother. We are going to 24 hour fitness. He got me a um, seven day free guest pass. And today is going to be the first day that I work out in a long time. I need to lose a lot of weight because since September hit, I've been eating nonstop, eating nonstop, eating nonstop, okay? So I don't, I didn't gain 30 pounds, but I want to lose 30 pounds because I want to get down to, I don't know, I don't even know how much I weigh, but I'm assuming I weigh a certain amount. But I want to get down into, like, the 120s. Um, I'm 5'3", so that's an appropriate height. But I think for every time I lose weight or I maintain my weight, I'm always, like, in the 140s. Um, the lowest I think I've gotten in my late to, um, what is it, early 30s. I have only been, I think at my lowest, like in the 135s. So I do want to try to push myself and get to 125, but it may not happen, but I want to try to get there. So that's why I say I need to lose about 30 pounds. I think that'll get me to where I need to go. So today will be the first day that I'm working out. Granted, I did not eat well. My, my brother called me out on it and was like, <laughs> Why are you eating like that before you go to the gym? But look, I just need to ease in, okay? I'm at home. My mom cooks every single day. So why wouldn't I take advantage? But at least by working out, I'll get myself into the habit of working out. So I'm going to try to work out every single day from here on out until I leave to go back to Columbus. And then I'll continue to work out because I need to lose this weight for sure. So let me go get dressed. 
Is everything need to be recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I'm doing Vlogmas. Over here, clowning on me. Cause I was working hard in the gym. Big cat, big, big, big cat. You know those, those, those big ass cats they be having at souvenirs at the baseball games and shit. She one of them. She ain't got a baseball cap on. She got the big fake one. I was working hard. We had them all, man. Whew. Work hard. <laughs> Look, I gotta ease into it. I haven't worked out since August. Gotta ease into it, otherwise I might hurt myself. Anyway, and I also ate that big meal before it came, so I could do only what I can do. I burned like 350 calories. That's good to me. Anyway, that's it for Vlogmas Day 19, and I'll catch you in the next one.